We're here at um, Finca Cotobajo in Matellana, in the province of Valladolid with Egbert Jan Sonneveld, the coordinator of the Life Plus project in the autonomous state of uh, Castilla León, where we have three of our projects. And uh, Egbert, please explain what we are seeing here. It seems a water box full of water. Correct. Uh, approximately one year ago we have been trying already some water boxes in this area to see what the, 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 the primary problems are we come across. across. And uh, the plants that we have planted, this is an, uh, an Quercus ilex, and that, has, that is one of the autochthonous plants in this region. And what we, found, what we see here is that the result is uh, uh, fantastic, because if we remove the box, we can see that there is a wonderful uh, uh, wet underground, and the plant is in perfect health. I see that there's lots of new leaves here on the, on the top. Does it mean that it, uh, it took root and is now growing already? Correct. We, we believe, we should, to be 100% sure, we should take the plant out of the land, which is not, we are not going to do that. But I'm sure that you can see as much growth above the, uh, the, uh, the ground as under the ground. We also see here a lot of uh, biological activity. And uh, can you explain a little bit about that? Because we see here some, uh, uh, some, some entrances for worms and some other animals and probably a lot of microorganisms working. That is exactly what we want to create with the water box, that the, la that the ground under the water box and surrounding the plant and the roots uh, is, is uh, conti continuously humid and where the bacterial the bacteriology of the, of the, of the ground is, is improving and one of the best signs to see that the, that, that the land is fertile again is, uh, is the presence of um, worms. Okay, let's take a look at the water box because it seems pretty full to me. Yes. And uh, um, it's, it seems that this was planted in June last year, it has been a very dry summer but still it's completely filled up with water. Yes, we can easily say that uh, due to the rainfall in this area, which is not much, but more than enough, as you can see, to fill the water box, and we have always seen it uh, at uh, this full. So the water in this box has been drip irrigating the plant and never was uh, missing. Some of this uh, organic material that you see here, is this an impediment for the growth or or does it, uh, is it just nature at work? I would say it's not an, an, uh, a problem because, as I repeat, we have seen the box continuously uh, full uh, even if there was some organic material here growing on top and inside the tubes. Okay, so um, basically would you say that we could now uh, theoretically remove the water box and just let this plant, this critical silex, grow by itself? Absolutely. Um, we believe that now the best would be to, to, to uh, leave the plant on its own, eventually cover this with, with, uh, with some stones or other material, so that you don't lose the humidity that has been created here under, and that you still avoid the growth of weeds. Thanks so much. This is a very promising material for the real life project that's currently on the way. And uh, we definitely hope and are convinced that we will repeat these, uh, these experiments with the same results. Thanks a lot, Egbert. And uh, we see here the terrain of the Matellana with uh, some of the water box that we tested last year for the LIFE projects, Project Green Deserts, currently underway, also here in the province of Bayelit.